Hey guys, Duckling Power here, back with another Zer looting location video. Now, Zer today is on Titan. Now, you can see where his little map marker is, he's over that way. So, we're gonna just go fly to the rig and I'll see you there. Alright, guys, so there is a public event going on, but I'm basically just gonna ignore that. We're gonna go and we're gonna find Zer. Now, I don't actually fully know where he is, but I think he's some sort of way over here. Sort of like over this way a little bit. What's this? This looks a bit weird. Oh, investigate. I'll do that quickly whilst I'm here. I'll look at my directory whilst it's up. And he is basically right below me. Oh, is he in this bit? Is he in here? Is he in here? Is he in here? Zer. So he's in this little sort of building thing. Let's see what he's got. I haven't seen his loot for this week. So let's see. Guys, Zer is selling... The war drift coil or the dubious volley or whatever you want to call it buy this weapon shoots a long volley of rockets if you haven't seen what this thing does you haven't seen any of the trailers this weapon is absolutely sick pick it up once again he's brought another sick weapon next week he'll either bring a really good one or a really shit one i was expecting shit loot today but the war drift coil is a madness the foe it the four tracer don't know why i said foe it Hunter Helmet, visually marks targeted enemies, deals more damage to low health marked enemies. Which is decent, I suppose. Improves energy weapon handling. Okay, let's see what it's mobility and that's like. Okay, so you can basically make it so it has no resilience and one recovery and two mobility. Um, the ACDC feedback fence. These are pretty cool looking Titan exotics, to be fair. And it has a pretty cool perk where melee kills build up an explosive energy within the ACDC feedback fence. Being struck by a melee attack unleashes this energy in a devastating explosion. So say you get two melee kills in PvP and then someone melees you, it'll do damage to them, and it's actually pretty mad. Increases this armor's mobility, allowing you to move faster, so you can either have three resiliency, or two resiliency, and one recovery. Now, finally, the sun bracers. Are these new ones? Because I know the sun breakers were exotics in Destiny 1, but these look quite similar. And helium spirals increases the duration of solar grenades and grants grenade energy on solar melee hits. Let's have a look at what these look like. They actually look pretty damn cool, in all honesty. They're just flowing fire on your wrist, basically. And you can have them with one mobility, one resiliency, and one recovery. This is pretty sick loot. Get the war drift coil, guys. It is a madness. It is absolutely amazing. It is sick. Probably the coolest looking exotic that I've seen in the game just based on how it works but anyway guys that is the end of the video and if you have enjoyed the video then please press that like button and that subscribe button and go do the same to the rest of the chapel crew their names will be in the description down below and also check out Phantom. his name will also be in that description down below and the fact that Zer has brought two sick weapons in two weeks is pretty nice the merciless last week and then the wardrobe coil this week thank you very much Zer. i will see you guys next time and good